Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. If you're new to my channel, my name is Trina and I make videos mostly about beauty devices. So if you're interested in this topic, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I also have a private Facebook group all about beauty devices and I'm on TikTok and Instagram. So today's video is addressing a specific FAQ that I get all over my social media channels that I get on YouTube and the private Facebook group and also on my other social media channels. And people are getting confused between galvanic, microcurrent and EMS devices. And I think these terms are used interchangeably. They're thrown around and people think they're the same thing, but they are not the same thing. They are three different modalities. And I'm just gonna give you a brief definition of what these three modalities are. And I'll also list resources if you want to go research more about these modalities. There's some really great blog posts I found on the 7E Wellness site that explains the differences between modalities. And so I'm just gonna give you a quick review and then I'll leave links if you wanna go more into detail and look at more of the science and look at the charts and all of that. The main purpose of a galvanic device is to press water-based serums deeper into your skin. So if you're trying to treat a specific skin concern or you have dry skin, this can be a great treatment to help with your skin. A lot of people think galvanic is microcurrent, but it absolutely is not. Galvanic current is direct and constant, whereas microcurrent uses an electrical current that's alternating. So the currents are different. There's no frequency with galvanic because it is a direct current. And then moving on to microcurrent, microcurrent is a low level electric current that stimulates the facial muscles. It stimulates ATP to build collagen and elastin in the muscles to lift, sculpt, and tighten your face muscles. And if you have a MyLift device, you can use erase or stretch to help smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. So that's an additional benefit of microcurrent if you're using one of those devices. But for the most part, the microcurrent devices are using the educate or lift mode, and that's helping to lift, tighten, and sculpt and contour your facial muscles. And the current is measured in microamps. So for example, the New Face Trinity goes up to 335 microamps, whereas the MyLift devices, the Mini and the QT and the QT Plus go up to 400 microamps. The professional microcurrent facial that I got went up to 800 microamps. Now, when you get into EMS, that is electrical muscle stimulation. This is a stronger current and a lot of people use EMS on the body. You'll see athletes using it professionally on their body to help stimulate muscles and help them recover perhaps from injury. There are EMS devices for the face, but some of the research that I've done shows that many estheticians like to use microcurrent on the thinner areas of your face, so like your forehead and your eye area, and then use EMS where there's more muscle or where it's thicker on the bottom half of your face. So EMS is stronger current, it actually causes your muscles to contract. So microcurrent, you shouldn't feel. If you're using a microcurrent device properly, you shouldn't feel it. There should be no twitching, there should be no muscle contraction, but when you're using an EMS device, the point of it is to contract the muscle. I think that because the top part of your face is so delicate that many estheticians just stick with microcurrent on the top and then EMS on the bottom of your face so that you can stimulate and sculpt those jowls and cheeks. The research that I've done shows that you can use microcurrent and EMS together. I imagine you could use galvanic, microcurrent, and EMS together because they're complementary and they all do different things. And there are devices that include EMS like the Lumo or the Time Master Pro that do recommend using it all over your face. For me personally, EMS is uncomfortable. The twitching and when I move it over my teeth, it really hurts. So I like to stick personally to microcurrent. I do like to use my Tripolar Stop VX because there is a mode called ELV that seems to stimulate the muscles on the lower portion of my face. And when you look at that device, instructions, it says to only use that mode around your jowls and your jawline. So that makes sense that they're recommending to only use that mode on the lower part of your face because if you're stimulating your muscles and you can feel them contracting, you can feel it twitching, keep it to the lower portion of your face. Now I do know that the Lumo and the Time Master Pro have low enough settings that you can use it on the top portion of your face and not really feel it. So I guess it just depends on your sensitivity and what you're trying to do. But all I'm trying to do today is just outline how these are three separate modalities and how they all do different things and they feel different on your face. Hopefully that's helpful. So if you're shopping for devices um, and you see a galvanic device, you'll know that it's not microcurrent. If you're shopping for a microcurrent device, you'll know it's not EMS. And what I have found that there are a lot of sites out there, especially like the Medicube site that was selling their 
EMS device as a microcurrent device. And since I put out that video where we discussed was it microcurrent or EMS, they've since changed their website and they're now calling it EMS. So I just mentioned that to you to do your research because a lot of brands are using these terms interchangeably, especially microcurrent and EMS. They are different modalities and they seem to be used interchangeably. So I would just say, do your research. I think there's some Fapushi, I don't know if I'm saying that properly, there are some Fapushi devices that's, that are very popular in our private Facebook group that a lot of people talk about and they say that that one is EMS, but they market it as microcurrent potentially. If you order a microcurrent device and you start using it and you really feel twitching using it on your face, especially if it's not even turned up to the highest level, it's probably EMS. Always do your research, check the return policy so in case you get something that's not gonna work for you, you can return it. And I do know that there are some people that can't use EMS um, or can't use microcurrent for some reason. There are contraindications for all of these modalities. So really do your research and make sure you have that return policy because you don't wanna be using a modality that's not gonna work for you. And you can also consult with your dermatologist or your doctor um, before using a device if you're not sure. Thank you so much for watching. If you have more questions about these modalities, please let me know. I will leave links to more resources down below in the description, but I wanted to get the conversation started and just put it out there that these are three separate modalities. I'm not an esthetician, so feel free to reach out to your favorite esthetician if you want to ask them more about this. I would love to know what your thoughts are um, about these three different modalities and do you have a favorite one? I would say my favorite one is microcurrent. That was the first modality I started using and I still am using it today, years later, and I just really love the results I see on my face from using microcurrent. If you found this helpful, give it a like, share with a friend, make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.